All right, guys, what's going on? Good morning to everyone. We are getting an early start on this MLK day at 7 in the morning. My goal for this week is to drive more mornings. I think the money is going to be really good between 8 and 10 a.m. But that requires me to either drive a lot than train, which is not so good for, I don't know how I feel in the gym. But um, yeah, I was going to get up really early today and hit a leg session, but last night ended up going a little later than expected, had a nice little ice cream outing late night, and then actually saw a movie, saw The Showman with Hugh Jackman, and man, that movie was great. If you're into music, like Cirque du Soleil, circus type things, performing in general, which you guys may know I am if you've seen Instagram stuff, but a really, really good movie with some great company, so I had a really nice night, and we're still trying to get up at 7 a.m., eat some food, squat really quick, come home, get that driving in, so... Let's see what we do. I'm gonna get some things together, have a very basic breakfast. I'll show you guys real quick. And then I'm just gonna rest for half an hour and hit the gym and we'll drive after that. So it's time to move. Straight up compost life. Alright guys, and this is as simple as it gets for me these days. We've got a scoop of isolate, some dairy-free milk, and a cup of honey bunches of oats. So with this and half the muffin, it puts me at about four to 500 calories, 50 carbs, a little fat, just to kind of keep my insulin or my blood sugar level stable while I'm training. And we're gonna go in, hit five or six sets of squats, a couple hack squats, murder hams and calves, and then get in the car. So. I'm excited. It's Martin Luther King Day, so I don't know what it's going to be like to drive, but uh, I'm ready. So I'll talk to you guys later, and uh, let's do this. All right, so I'll see you guys on the squat rack, but first I'm going to show you how much pre-workout I take. This Bang pre-workout has 350 megs of caffeine per scoop which is absolutely ridiculous and that should basically be illegal in my opinion, very stupid. So what I'll do is about a quarter to a third of a scoop, just get about 100 milligrams max of caffeine. Uh, overdosing caffeine over that is actually, I think, gonna hurt your muscle gains and reduce muscle growth over time, recovery, etc. It's gonna elevate your blood sugar levels, which I think was a recent discovery by Dave Palumbo showing that stimulants, stimulants actually help raise and maintain your blood sugar levels kind of higher all day, which is not good for your health, not good for staying lean, not good for recovery or anything. So I've been keeping my pre-workout to a minimum, just kind of addicted to the taste, and I do like a little bit of the buzz, but again, this is gonna last me pretty much till probably halfway through the year. And that's how it should be for you guys. If you find yourself having more than 100 or 200 megs around your workout, that's too much. Good way to get your 16 ounces of water in right before you train too. Well, this is a challenge, guys. The road is completely covered in ice. Zero traction right now. You guys can see that. <laughs> so. We're gonna get to the gym a little later than, or a little slower than usual, but let's get there in one piece. No vlogging here. All right guys, what's going on? So this was yesterday's squat session. And yeah, I'm catching back up to the videos. So trying to figure out how YouTube won't take my money. And the last video I just posted, reviewed it, and a day later it was okay. So we'll see how that goes. But either way, I'm just gonna keep cranking these out because I'm squatting again. And I still haven't read the comments. I'm sure there's several of them that I'm missing. But really what I wanna to touch on today is kind of just asking the question, why everyone's squat form sucks. And aside from like a handful of people I see on YouTube, Matt Ogus, Jason Blaha, Johnny Candido, Strength Cartel is actually pretty impressive, Larry Wheels, like these professional powerlifters, 
Nobody can squat. And I'm gonna just talk about that a little bit and just address my thoughts on that because when people use good form, like myself, I imagine that most of us notice that everyone else is doing the incorrect form. So I haven't seen anyone squat past parallel. Um, and if they do, their butt is like way behind them. They're basically parallel to the ground of their spine and they're completely loading their lower lumbar spine very, very aggressively and I don't think that's healthy. So what I'm gonna tell you guys to do is bring your cell phones to the gym or bring your handheld little flip cam to the gym, whatever you guys have and start filming your compound movements. And if you cannot pause the motion, like a squat below parallel, if you can't pause your bench press on your chest, and if you can't dead hang on your pull-ups and pull yourself to the top, you have bad form, regardless of what you think. So in order to perform a compound movement correctly, you have to use a full range of motion. And I'm not saying you have to go almost ass to grass like I am, which I'm not. I wouldn't call this 100% ass to grass. If I do want to do that, I'm gonna have to get some squat shoes and really have a stable base so I can fully, fully fall into that complete knee flexion. Because once I get about 95% of the way, I lose stability on those plates for sure. So I'm trying to look up what squat shoes I wanna get. I don't wanna spend 200 and something dollars on squat shoes. I'm definitely looking to spend less than 100 bucks. So I'm thinking Adidas power lifts or some do in just super cheap ones. And I also don't want a 0.75 inch heel. I'd like something a little less, but I guess beggars can't be choosers as the old saying goes. So just gonna watch my squat form here. Am I butt winking? I don't really know guys. So maybe you guys can tell me. I seem to be keeping my hips neutral at the beginning, breaking at the knees and falling. I could do a little bit better there, but again, I'm learning how to squat. I don't claim to have perfect form. I just claim to try as best as I can. And um, I nailed it on a couple sets, but I need to work on breaking at the knees, letting the hips stall right there and falling with my tailbone in between my heels. And right now my tailbone's a little bit dragging behind my heels. And yeah, it's a very quad dominant movement. And um, <coughs> it does remind me of how Matt, Matt Ogus squats. So I do wanna bring my stance in a little bit and make sure my tailbone isn't behind my heels. I want my tailbone in between the arches of my feet. Now that might be impossible considering the length of my legs or the leverage of my legs, but if I can maximize my range of motion by getting as close to that as possible, that's gonna be best for me. So again, I don't understand why people don't really realize what they're doing in the gym. Maybe they've seen incorrect things on YouTube and on the internet, which honestly is probably a main issue. So I ask you guys, if you're watching this, like the video, share, subscribe, because people like myself and people who give good advice, unbiased advice, honest advice, we're not selling anything. I do sell coaching, but you can just watch my videos and train how I train if you want. Um, guys, spread the word. Talk about good form. Talk about four inch of motion. Talk about getting strong and stop talking about fluff and pump and arm size and calf size and size of muscles because if you're doing in the gym what you're supposed to be doing it shouldn't matter to you what muscle groups aren't where they should be if you don't like a muscle group train it with isolation but don't cater your compound movements around weak muscle groups it's base basic training squats deadlifts if you're not injured which i do hope to get into soon deadlifts pull-ups squats overhead press bench press if I didn't say that. All those movements, guys, pull-ups, these are things that are gonna get you to where you wanna be, even though I just did 30 reps on the hack squat because it's fun. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys, if you're unsure about your form, if you see people with bad form around you, film yourself, watch yourself, it's worth it. You're definitely doing yourself a massive help. And ignore what people are doing if you think they're doing something wrong and try to continue to reinforce what you know, which is full range of motion, pausing, and if you're not strong enough, if you cannot pause a weight or do full range of motion, lower the weight. I'm squatting 175 pounds and I weigh 205 pounds and I don't care because my leg de development is better than most people, my health in my lower body is better than most people and I'm very happy that I'm executing what I think is my best and I know that I don't see anyone else doing that. So stick to what you think is best and watch people who are trying to help you because most people are just trying to take advantage of you. And uh, yeah, they can go themselves. Peace. Ah, so Denver does have a winter and it is snowing outside. Wanna see?
nope, window disagrees. But snow's fallen and it's beautiful, but dangerous.